Hello YouTube, Sir Dragon X here. Are you stressing out about getting your RFC by the due date of July 1st of 2022? Well, I've got some breaking news and we're going to discuss it in a video coming up next. The government of Mexico just recently passed a law that in 2022, every individual over the age of 18 must have an RFC. What is an RFC, you ask? Well, it's actually a tax ID number. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about the RFC. I don't know if you've heard of the channel Two Expats in Mexico, and Kuru Paul does a great job of explaining what an RFC is, and he actually has a video on how to obtain one. I'm going to post a link to his videos so that you can use them as a reference. So before we start, let me remind you, subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. It helps me get the word out on YouTube. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep it really simple and really short. What's very important about what's going on right now is that the government of Mexico passed a law that every individual over the age of 18 must obtain an RFC. Now, when the government put this law into effect, they actually said that you needed to get your RFC with a deadline of July 1st of 2022. There has been some questions as to whether this is going to apply to expats and what are the ramifications of not getting an RFC. I think Kuru Paul does a good job at explaining to you exactly what the consequences of not getting an RFC are. So if you really want more detailed information, I really do suggest that you check out Kuru Paul's videos, and I will be leaving a link in the video description below. As of today, the Mexican Tax Administration, also known as SAT, basically announced that they have extended the new invoice system 4.0, which is also known as the Vactura system, to January of 2023. So what does this mean for individuals that are trying to obtain their RFC to comply with the July 1st deadline? It basically means that the deadline of July 1st, 2022 to get your RFC has been extended to January of 2023. SAT has explained that the reason why they are granting this extension is in order to give taxpayers the facilities to comply with their tax obligations. Now, it's important to understand that SAT has already implemented the 4.0 invoice system, which is also known as the Factura system. SAT is urging individuals that are already using the 4.0 system to continue to use the 4.0 system. So bottom line is those individuals that already have an RFC and your Constancia Fiscal, you need to keep using it as normal. And for those of you who don't have it, you have a little bit more time to get it. Now, the reason why SAT is granting this extension is because they're backlogged with issuing RFCs. I don't think the Mexican government realized how arduous this task would be. I can actually attest to the fact that I've been in the virtual line for an RFC for over two months now. My wife, who's a Mexican citizen and actually has her RFC, was asked for her constancia fiscal. She actually went onto the website and she's tried three times to get her constancia and every single time it's been rejected. The systems are backlogged and overloaded. I actually went to the SAT office in Monterrey to see if I could do something physically. There was actually over 100 people in line. That's the way it's been for the past two to three months. That's not a complaint. I wasn't in a hurry to get my RFC. And like Kuru Paul said in his video, nothing is really going to happen, but you might have issues when you're trying to do business here in Mexico. So it is in your best interest to get your RFC. So I'm just going to leave you with this. If you're in the process of getting your RFC, don't worry about it and don't stress. Just let the process run its course. If you haven't gotten your RFC, go ahead and apply now to get in the virtual line to get your RFC. I hope this video has relieved a little bit of your stress and I hope it was informative and see you soon. <music> 